We all know that from console wars of ages gone by, the Xbox fanboys have always had their silver bullet of teraflops. Recently, on the Sony Ponies side of things, they haven't had much to fight back with, except for exclusives, which they do have, I'll give them that. Now, the phrase, it's all about the games, that's kind of, um, the phrase, it's all about the games, is kind of absurd at this point, since you don't really have that many exclusives, like, there's two that I can think of off the top of my head, God of War and Spider-Man. It's like, yeah, congratulations, you have a few games that nobody else can play, but now, the PlayStation fanboys have their own. Teraflop. It's called the Solid State Drive. Yes, my fellow PC enthusiasts will know exactly what this is. It's something you slap into your computer and you put your operating system on it, so then your PC boots up faster. And if you've got some extra cash to spare, you buy a larger SSD to put your games on to reduce those already fairly short load times in modern games nowadays. However, the SSD has been more of a, a luxury than a necessity, but the average PlayStation fanboy doesn't view it as that. However, this PlayStation fanboy we're looking at today, he's, he's kind of misinformed. It, no, he's retarded. I think anybody that's built a PC before and knows what each piece of hardware does knows pretty well, and I think it's safe to say that the form of storage you choose to use is pretty much the, uh, the, the least important out of all of them. I'm pretty sure calling this guy a Sony pony is, is fairly easy, seeing as, uh, his channel banner says PlayStation Proud, and almost all of his videos are about the PlayStation. Oh, and not to mention, Microsoft created the coronavirus to delay PS5 production. Like, Jesus Christ, get your head on straight, man. Now that the prologue of this sob story is out of the way, let's head on to Chapter 1. is a great guy and his videos are fantastic right off the bat i can appreciate a fairly short intro but using edits of donald trump's voice is kind of questionable in today's age what's poppin people i'm rated d and i've tested positive for swag oof dude i'm not too sure can i see the uh the reports for that I i'd like to see some verification because I, I gotta be honest something about you i i just don't believe it and i'm already preparing for all the dislikes from the pc fanboys no i th i think you're preparing for the dislikes from literally anybody that knows a fraction of information about hardware and the technical side of gaming because it's pretty obvious that you don't know anything about it and when people start spewing information other people like to go out and correct that it's just the way we do things because well they're fanboys, they're not real gamers. I think any fanboy from literally any of the groups, be it PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, they're all real gamers. No one's gonna go out and defend a certain company or object without actually enjoying it first. Because today we saw something unreal. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna make fun of him for his bad jokes, but dude, that was, that was really awful. You gotta get that checked out. Come on, I, th I think that's an actual problem. Normally, dude, that only starts kicking in after you have children and you're around the age of 35. You had this huge PlayStation 5 reveal showing off the next version of the Unreal Engine, and Jeff Keighley interviewed some of the guys from Epic to talk about it, which I'll play a, a clip from here in a moment. But what I find to be absolutely hilarious is, first off, this looked amazing. It's called a tech demo. Tech demos are supposed to look really good. That was an actual gameplay. Gameplay will have NPCs, it'll have action sequences, and a lot more things that are extremely graphically demanding. That is not what your gameplay will look like. Sorry. But secondly, you have all these PC fanboys that talk about, mm, uh, PC is so much better than consoles, I'm not getting into PlayStation 5. On the technical side of things, there's no argument, PC is better. But when it comes down to the game and your preferred platform, that's just personal preference, okay? And if somebody is a PC gamer and they already have a PC, chances are they're not going to want to go out and buy a next-gen console, say it, be it a PlayStation 5, and spend all that extra money on another console when they already have an amazing platform that they enjoy. Unless they really, really want those exclusive exclusives and even then there's nothing wrong with that what's so funny is as you can see in this clip right here and again these are pc fanboys that are saying this stuff they're not the pc gamers i think the word you're looking for is 
people who know what the heck they're talking about. Because if you know anything about PC hardware, you're gonna know that the PCs have the hardware advantage, no matter what. And if you're thinking about little Jimmy that lives next door and plays crappy games off his grandma's Dell Optiplex, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that invest in the gaming side of the PC platform. They just like gaming. They're not like the rest of us, you know, gamers that just enjoy gaming. These people are fanboys. I like how you're calling the rest of us fanboys when you have an entire channel dedicated to Sony damage control. And as you can see in this clip right here, one of the guys from Epic Games explains that PC is irrelevant. First of all, I'm gonna give you guys a quick heads up. No, he does not say it's irrelevant. And second of all, it's Epic Games. Can you really trust their word at all anymore after what they've done, especially for the PC space? Now, you know, Sony's storage system is absolutely world class. Um, you know, not only the best in class in console, but also uh, the best on any platform, um, better than high end PC. I think this is going to enable a uh, the types of immersion that we only could have dreamed of in the past. Okay, so you, you might not know this, but Sony's a hardware company, and they make hardware, you know? Like, SSDs, you know? So chances are, they might make a really good SSD. And even if they do, who cares? It doesn't make PCs irrelevant. It just means that you'll have slightly faster load times than us. Which, really, who cares? Except for, except for the console fanboys, of course. So, as you can see, when it comes to next generation gaming, your only choice is PlayStation 5. I'm sorry, but your level on the retard scale just went from a solid 9.5 to, like, a 12 real quickly. The reason why any companies are in this console war are because they want to have more options for the next gen of consoles. And this video is about PCs anyways, and why PlayStation 5 makes the PC irrelevant, or it's more powerful. There is no next generation with PC, you just upgrade your hardware. You always have the new games, unless they're exclusives. Sorry, Sony fanboys. My bad. Sorry, I forgot about your exclusives. Because, look. The Nintendo Switch is a fantastic console, but it's something different. It's not it's not really a next generation console. It's Oh my god. We 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 Nintendo has nothing to do with this. And of course, the Switch is not a next gen console. We we know that. We've known that. It's a last gen console. They just came late to the party. What do you what are you trying to say here? When did the Nintendo Switch become relevant to this video? And I love my Switch. Mario Odyssey is my personal favorite game ever. I think it's fantastic. Yes, can we get back on topic, please? Um, but when it comes to the Xbox, the Series X, let's face it, it's underpowered. We've already seen that. I think the retard scale just grew for your special case. The Xbox has nothing to do with this video, and we already know that it's the most powerful console, the Series X. We've seen the specs, we know it's gonna be more powerful than the PlayStation 5, but I thought you guys didn't care about that, because it's about the games. If the Series X is awfully underpowered, then what do you call the PlayStation 5? And how is that supposed to outperform PCs? Um, and you can't trust Microsoft's first party studios either. When it comes to PC gaming, well, we just heard it here that PC gaming is not up to the level of the PlayStation 5. No, I'm pretty sure what we heard is that Sony is developing an SSD that is going to be more powerful than anything on the market, which is totally believable. They're a hardware company, they do that kind of thing. But that's all you've got, a faster SSD. And like I've said, when it comes to hardware, the, the SSD is like the least necessary piece of all the hardware components. Y you don't even need one. You're really forced to get a PlayStation 5 if you want a game on next-gen platforms. No, you're not. And I thank Sony from the bottom of my heart for making such a high quality system. This console is not even out yet. It hasn't been released. How do you know if it's a high quality console or not? Oh, thank you, Toyota, for making that flying car that's so high quality that's gonna come out in 10 years. I rate it 10 out of 10, just for you guys. Um, because it's obvious that Microsoft and, you know, these PC manufacturers just don't care enough. I don't know if you know, but the PC manufacturers are the gamers. Most PC players make their own PCs. And no company cares about you. All they want is your money. That's the sad fact in life. 
because Sony doesn't love you any more than Microsoft loves their Xbox fanboys, and Nvidia doesn't give a shit about me. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and keep it frosty. Wow! Quality content! If you enjoyed this video by Rated D, the best YouTuber ever, then please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Even your YouTube outro is retarded! You don't favorite a YouTube video! Retard? Hey, that's it. That's the video. You guys can all leave. Unless you want to join my Discord, or leave a like. Maybe even subscribe. Or even twitch.tv slash mrweenie. I try to stream there every other day. It's good fun. Come hang out. Links in pinned comment. I love you all.